first order of business or some introductions that um, we should do since not since we have different people today. Um, Alex and Marsh, media director. Linda Michalopoulos, sitting in for COA. Yeah. And then folks on Zoom. Uh, Roland Mandler. Crystal Jackson. Kyle Dragon. Jennifer Sanders James. So, um, we are going to, I think we should table the uh, minutes because not everyone here, not really can one vote on it and not enough people who care, care can actually vote on the meeting minutes that were here last time. Um, so I do have an update from Kinley Horn. Um, they, we got confirmation from them today that they're going to mail out a thousand uh, copies of the survey along with 200 copies of the flyer so that we don't have to print them out. Um, and then when I spoke to them, I did start some of the survey stuff because they are very, they were adamant about starting it right away. Um, so that started the, our surveys at the Town Hall, COA, and the library. Um, we have some that came in um, already. Um, and then I was at the Smart Group meeting last week, and we are on the same timeline. And I did mention that to the uh, the consultants of Kimberly Horn, and then they, they did say that it would be wise because we're on the same timeline to, to share survey re survey results. Um, so I drafted up this letter. Um, I was wondering if I can get yeah. anyone have any questions, concerns about the letter to send to the Smart Group Committee. Alex, I thought you said there were two other committees, but is that the only one we're sending? For now, yes, because I didn't. Um, Oh, right. Yeah. Well, I could keep it in there, but um, I wanted to put a letter into the library trustees uh, because oh, I found out so late that it was too late to uh, amend the agenda. So we'll take care of that next meeting. Um, but for now, we're, we can we can start with the um, uh, smart growth committee. Questions, concerns. Um, is there a motion to send a letter? I'll make that motion. All right. And then that makes the motion. Is there a second? I'll second. All right. Because we are virtual remote or we're hybrid right now we're going to do a uh, roll call vote so linda yes alex yes roland yes Kyle. yes Jennifer. yes and then crystal you're on mute Yes. Perfect. Well, cool. okay, we get that done over with. Um, so I'll send that letter out, uh, and uh, hopefully we can share results of the surveys. And um, just in case we don't get enough um, survey results coming in, because we are on the same timeline. Um, and then we go to. Whiteboard that we have. Give me a moment. Oh, yeah. Alex, I might recommend for next time that we try to get in over at the library. In person. Okay. That's probably a good idea because I, yeah, that, 
we'll, 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 we'll shoot for the library next time. Okay. If they tell you that they don't, they're not open or anything, just remember I've got a key and I think you do too, don't you? I don't have a key to the library. Um, they are open though. There. They should be open at least, or if not, they've just closed down. Okay. Uh, but it doesn't matter because Steve Brown's under the committee and she is the well, assistant library director. Oh, that's so, right. Yeah. We've got access to them, so. It, it yeah. Probably a lot quieter hearing people read books rather than playing pool. Oh, so, yeah. Alex, how many flyers did you say you had, paper flyers? Um, I have a couple, but we're getting mailed um, 200. Okay. All right. All right. Just just for reference, library's open from ten to five on Tuesdays. If we oh, perfect. And then uh, that it opens at two on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay. Not that I know anything about the library except I spent half my life there when I'm in Hadley. So, <laughs> Alex, since I'm a, a director on the board, I can try to, if you come up with another date and so forth in time, I can make sure we can reserve the room. Okay, perfect. Perfect. All right. So, I'm going to share my screen real quick. Take a look at this whiteboard. Maybe if we close the door, do you think that would help? We can't close the door. Oh, we can't. Okay. It's a public meeting and public oh, meeting. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. As long as it's open a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. All right. Let's do screen two. All right. Can everyone see my screen? Yes. Okay. So for this meeting, they want really want us to select uh, five stakeholders. Um, so this is what I had. This is, these were my ideas at first, um, and then I shared it with the uh, the consultants. They did reckon they definitely want to interview in Annie McKenzie, Patrick at the library, um, someone from Cooley Dickinson, which Molly said she could help us out with because she's on the board of trustees there. Um, and then they were interest. They had some interest in the housing authority, police chiefs, um, and uh, Molly Keegan because she um, knowledge you the select board uh, chair. She's also on the housing and economic development committee as well and chair. Um, so, so first question: um, What everyone's opinions? Is Annie, Patrick, and someone from Cooley Dickinson all right choices um, to start with? I think it's a, I think it's a great start. Okay. I was just wondering, like, who who are they recommending? Like a a physician or I, I don't even know who else. The IT person there. I mean, I don't know. From from the from Cooley. Yeah. Like a board so, member or? Yeah. Good question. Um, and I can I can ask that question to them. Um, uh, they, they want someone from the hospital talk because there is, because part of equity talks about um, also telehealth as well. And that's a very important part of digital equity and getting online and using on, you know, online tools. Okay, well that makes sense. Then they probably have somebody that that's their specialty is, and so that would make sense. Okay, yeah. I was just trying to figure out like who, but that makes a lot. Of yeah. Also, Alex, uh, if we did reach out to Pamela Rogers at the Housing Authority, exactly what type of information can I propose to her to bring her in as a stakeholder? I would have to ask the state. I would have to ask the consultants what questions she'll be asking. Okay. So it, might, it might depend on who we select too. Okay. Uh, so I couldn't tell you what they're going to ask. I mean, the schools will be different from the library. The library will be different from the housing authority, right. so forth. Exactly. So, so I can ask them totally. 
Okay, so right now you're just giving us a list of the first choice draft picks, so we say, but we do not have anything else going further as far as the questions we'd want them to answer or what they'd want to respond with, correct? Correct, for now at least. Um, they have big, the consultants will let me know. So, okay. you know. All right, so. I guess anything in pink they suggested, but they want us to have the final decision. Um, and I also have other folks in yellow, such as COA director, veterans agent, USDA office, uh, fire chief, chamber of commerce, et cetera. Um, I was wondering what everyone had for ideas or if, is there any, anything not on the list that they want me to put up? I'll do that too. Would do you want us to give you the suggestion now or after the meeting? Let's do it now. Okay, I would propose if we ask Reese, uh, she is on the she's a commissioner for the housing, uh, Hadley Housing Authority, but she's also a resident of the elderly portion of the Hadley Housing, and maybe she can give us some insight on how that can the digital equity can play a part in the elderly. What's your last name? Hold on, I get that for you a moment. Yeah. It's Reese Smith Reed. Reed. R -E -D or I -E? I'll email it to you, Alex. Okay. Thank you, Jennifer. I appreciate that. Not a problem. Let's see. Who else? Who else? Uh, what about Violet? maybe from the senior center or do you already oh you have it there okay coa director thank you so i'll put that in pink for now okay uh yeah. it doesn't have to be on the list um trying to think here how many more stakeholders are they looking for for reaching out to they're looking for five in total. Okay, so we need to edit this down. So I put Ethan Freed and once we agreed to already, and what I'm going to do is once we have like five green stickies, I'm going to email them those names and um, we'll go from there. Okay, so the green ones are definite. Correct, unless okay. everyone has any objections. Okay. I mean, I think the housing authority is important. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, housing authority, okay to put in green, everyone? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. Oh, All right, we need one more. So Chief Spanknavel is the emergency management director. Okay. Um, but Chief Mason is with public safety. He does the um, uh, dispatch. Yes. Um, so I almost feel like public safety should just go together and they should speak to them together. I like that idea. Yeah. Just. It, it's just, it makes a lot of sense. They both play such critical ro roles mm -hmm. in the infrastructure and contacting people. And yeah, I, that would be my recommendation is that it is public safety and it's both of them. And uh, that would give us our five. Okay. All right. Any objections to public safety? No. Okay. No. Okay, great. There we go. All right, so quarter five, we have school. 
schools, library, housing authority, Floyd Dickinson, and public safety. Um, does any anyone have any other objections or want to make other comments? I would just say so, that I would I would sort of push for six and have Molly Keegan part of it. Okay. So I just wanted to also confirm or update the name. It's Hadley Family Medicine. Medicine. Where it says I'm, practice. Okay. It's Hadley Family Medicine, yes. All right. But the consultants might try to go for a bully dick instead of the uh, actual uh, practice or okay. facility. Um, but so we have Ian, Denise. Patrick, Molly, Pamela, and public safety. All right, I'll push for six, but I can't promise anything. Um, all right, any other comments? When you're pushing for the six, Alex, and mm. Molly is the question, you might point out also that she owns a business in town. Yes. Not only is she a resident, but she's also a business owner. Yeah. Um, that, that's why I was sort of pushing for hers because there's so many hats there. Yeah, no, absolutely. I agree. Um, and I did, I did forward uh, the consultants her contact information too, um, because she does wear so many hats. So, um, I'll do my best to push for that. Um, all right. Is there a Alex, motion? Alex? Um, yes. In the interest of correctness, Patrick's name is misspelled. There's no N in his last name. Um, I have that told you. Alex, if you want, maybe later I can help you because there are a couple of other typos. Yeah. And I can help you with them. Okay. Okay. All right. Can I undo something on whiteboard? A little bit of the left on the bottom looks like it's moving. Oh, okay. there we go. Very good. Awesome. Um, cool. Thank you for that. Um, all right, so there's, is there a motion to accept the, uh, to accept uh, Ann, Annie McKenzie uh, or our school system, library, housing authority, Cooley Dickinson, public safety, and Molly Keegan um, as the five stakeholders um, or the six stakeholders uh, potentially um, for Kimberly Horn to interview? I motion it. All right, motion by Crystal. We have a second. Second. Do you have a second? Sorry, I saw you there. No, that's okay. All right. Okay, roll call vote. Linda? Yes. Alex, yes. Roland? Uh, yes. Um, let me get Roland. Jennifer? Yes. Kyle? Yes. And Crystal? Yes. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to stop sharing here. Yeah. And I'm going to go in gallery view. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next up is survey distribution strategy. Um, so, let's see. Where's my mouse? Then we 
Okay. All right. So um, here are my so for distributing um, surveys. Um, so far, I came up with um, um, main office in the schools, library where we have surveys, we have surveys of COA, um, public safety at lobby, um, churches, town hall, which we already have um, surveys at town hall, and then any local business such as um, Barstow's, North Hadley Sugar Shack, um, Cook Farm, Silos, all any, any little business like that. Um, any thoughts on what we have? Any any additions? Uh, what about the I, I would ones? maybe can we add um, the senior center um, office? Not the senior center. The uh, the office where uh, Golden Court is for the elderly, as well as if I can bring some copies over to the elderly in Winfield or Vesta. Yeah, so we already have um, um, copies of the survey that flyers at the okay. report in the laundry room. And the room. Okay. Um, and I can give you some to bring for, to Winfield. Or right. Yeah. What about the post office? Post office might be tricky, but we I could give it a try. At least a flyer. Yep. Okay. So, uh, do y'all know that the library has a survey out right now too, right? Yeah, I know there's, there's three different surveys out right now. Yep. Everybody should get an email right now from the town website. Okay, cool. Back out. What else? Any other ideas? I'd kind of throw in that it might be a good idea where we're distributing it to somehow leave some information on what people are supposed to do with the survey after they complete it. Okay. Because there's nothing on the survey itself. Right. So, okay. So. I, I have proposed if there's some way we can let everyone know if they wanted to just drop off the surveys at town hall, or maybe we can put a box or something inside of each location. And I would be more than happy to pick it up at the end of the week and bring it to, to the post office and pay for it to mail it out. Okay. Um, so Crystal, what I've been, what I've been doing is I've been just scanning them in and sending them to the consultants. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so that uh, that um, so they they get it instantly and they can do what they gotta do for their their purposes. So you're saying, but how are we going to pick up the applications? Because I some can, I can pick them up. Oh, okay. You'll take care of that. Yeah, I'll take care of that. Yeah, okay, yeah. great. Thank you, Alex. That's excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'll ask the consultants before to mail the flyers if they can, they can put in like um, can drop off at um, town hall. Okay. Any other thoughts? I think you had the main ones. Okay, perfect. I mean, there are other small businesses, but I'm not sure that people are going to stop and know assignments. Yeah. 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 That was a three. Okay. 
So is everyone happy with this um, list we have so far? And can I could start distributing? I, I'm fine. I just wanted to make sure that the elderly, you know, um, and some people who may not have vehicles can uh, provide their flyers to be reviewed and, and distributed properly with the response. That's my, that was my concern. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I'll make sure that it gets all corrected. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Okay. All right, we're ready to move on to the distribution part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Prince. You go outside and ride your car? Yeah. I know, right? Right? You got a deal, lollipop. Yeah. Yeah, where did you get the lollipop from? Who gave you the lollipop? Where'd you get it from? <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So um, these are like pop up informational sessions. So like we show up for like maybe two, three hours, um, and we talk about the, what we're doing. Uh, have people fill out surveys. Um, partially, I want to make sure we do pop ups because we are competing with two different surveys. Um, so I want to make sure we're visible and out there. Um, so I put down um, any like any COA events, school open houses, bar shows. The primary is happening. Um, any any high foot traffic areas like Home Depot, Walmart, Stop and Shop, churches, or any church events are happening. Um, maybe the mall. Um, if any thoughts, other thoughts that I'm not thinking of? My apologies. Is it possible, Alex, once we, if someone has another edition, can we just email it to you? You can update it on the whiteboard? Yeah, totally. Um, okay. we, we don't have to, um, have anything set in stone for this part um, at all. So we can, so I can just reach out to people, see what we can do, um, if we can go out and um, do these. Okay, that sounds excellent. Thank you, Alex. You got it. Um, and then I did, since we're on the subject, I did produce a press release um, to get more um, yeah to get the word out a little more. Besides um, putting flyers up, um, put, try putting it in the paper, um, maybe get in the news somehow. Um, so while we're on the subject. Um, has anyone read it? I'm sorry. Can you re can you repeat that, Alex? So the press release. Has everyone read it? Yes. Okay. Um, does anyone have any? Um, what is it? Any concerns or questions about it? Yeah. No. I don't. You know. Okay. All right. Cool. Um. So, is everyone comfortable me comfortable me um with just sending it to MBI getting their approval, or would you rather take a vote on it? I think it's fine just to send it to them for approval. Okay. Perfect. All right. That will do that then. Um, cool. So moving, so after this meeting, I will make sure we get, um, I will set up, um, some pop-up days, um, and, um, try to get a word out a little more about the survey and make those suggestions crystal made as well. Um, does anyone have any topics for the next meeting? Thank you. 
No. Okay. Um, so some we, we, Alex. Yes. Um, when are we likely to start seeing the results of some of these surveys? Clearly, I, we're going to want to discuss even early results if they if it makes sense. Yeah, I'll bring it up with a consultant see if we can get some early um, survey results. Right. Um, well, it can't put the 14 in the quarter because it's fresh. I know why. Awesome. Um, so for Jennifer and Kyle, I do, or for everyone, so just in case you don't know, I do meet with the consultants every other week to discuss progress um, and see what they need from us and what we need from them. So I'll be meeting with them next Monday, uh, and um, I'll bring this up, some of this stuff up. Actually, I'll, I'll email them too uh, beforehand. Um, so, um, if no one has anything else, is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Is there a second? I second. Linda seconded first. Um, no problem. <laughs> Everyone wants to leave. <laughs> All right. Instead of doing roll call, we're just going to say everyone wants to leave and meeting's over. <laughs>